Hi, my name is Daniel Miskovic. I am a surgeon at St. Mark's Hospital in London and I'm one of the two co-chairs uh, who had the pleasure to lead um, a group of international experts to develop uh, a guidance statement uh, regarding transanal TME. TATME is a, a very controversial issue that is heavily discussed at the moment, uh, especially with regards to uh, its potential risk for um, uh, regional multifocal recurrences. Uh, we don't know yet what the clear answer is about that, um, but we felt that in this environment it is very important to have some sort of a uh, or to provide a, a safe framework within which clinicians can uh, operate and uh, develop this technique further um, and uh, seek for further evidence, especially um, around that. Uh, um, procedure. Um, what we are um, we're trying to do, because there is a lack of high level evidence as it often is in these kind of issues, uh, but what we try to do is to create a guidance statement that is practical and uh, can be applied, um, a guidance statement that uh, is supported by, uh, uh, an op by opinions from a large number of international experts and we very much relied on um, very strong collaborations between different surgical societies uh, from around the world. So this project is uh, led by the European Society of Coloproctology, the ESCP, uh, but we had collaborations with um, a number of international societies such as uh, ASCRS um, or uh, EAS. Uh, SAGES uh, and many others uh, that are outlined in the guidance document. The um, way we went on about it was that we uh, started in a core group of about um, 15 surgeons. Um, that was two years ago when we had our initial meetings. We were trying to establish areas that we need to cover in this guidance statement and uh, we came to the conclusion that the main three areas that need to be covered is which patients should be or can be selected for the procedure so indications uh, second uh, how do we measure quality um, and outcome uh, in these procedures and thirdly um, how should uh, surgeons be trained in these procedures before uh, they start uh, performing them independently <clears throat> with these three main themes, we sent off um, groups of working groups that were looking specifically at those, they were looking out for evidence, they were looking for expert opinions and came up with um, some draft statements that we then, in a reiterative uh, questionnaire process, in an adapted Delphi process, tried to um, uh, refine and to uh, uh, clarify um, this whole process took several meetings in several countries. Uh, it was a, a process that uh, at some uh, stages was very difficult because it was very difficult sometimes to reach consensus. But we finally came up with a consensus statement uh, or a consensus document that uh, we all could agree with and uh, is now um, um, published uh, in the current form. It doesn't mean that this is now uh, the final statement. Um, it's actually quite the contrary. What we wanted to create is a basis for discussion. Uh, each one of these statements can be changed and should be changed probably in the future, uh, depending on uh, the uh, evidence that is arising. Um, and it is quite possible that we got some of it wrong uh, and that it needs to be corrected in the future. So this is an ongoing process and an ongoing dis discussion that we'll then we'll have. Uh, and the current document is purely um, uh, a documentation of uh, the current uh, expert uh, opinion. Hi, my name is uh, Rol Hompus and I'm a uh, colorectal surgeon from the Amsterdam University Medical Centers. And I was uh, very fortunate <clears throat> to be one of the co-chairs together with uh, Mr. Danilo Miskovic, for which you just heard, on uh, the uh, work group to develop these TATME uh, guidance statements. As Danilo mentioned, we started off with a small focus group within the ESCP 
uh, to come up with actually dyed lines. But we quickly realized that this would be a far too long process uh, and that the evidence was just not there to come up with proper guidelines. So we changed this into trying to provide guidance for surgeons out there who want to implement uh, TA, TME. And it quickly went from an ESCP initiative to an international collaborative where we had colorectal societies from all five continents involved to develop these guidance uh, statements. And I think what is really important about these uh, uh, guidance statements is that they are dynamic. This was also already mentioned by uh, Mr. Miskovic, who uh, said that we will uh, change, adapt these guidance uh, statements when new evidence comes out. And of course, we are awaiting the uh, randomized controlled trials that are now ongoing. Ongoing, but we also need you, uh, the membership of the ESCP, because what we envisaged from the beginning is to put these statements out on the public domain uh, for the membership of the ESCP to comment. And this is not only to be commented on by surgeons who perform TATME, but also colorectal surgeons who use other techniques and clearly also will have an opinion about how TATME should be used and whether or not it should be used. So we will then gather these uh, comments and with that try to further improve uh, these statements. And it could be that there are areas where we haven't focused enough on that the membership think should be, uh, 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 should be getting some more attention. And this is, of course, something that we will promote for all colorectal societies to put these statements on their respective uh, websites and have their membership uh, help to uh, improve these statements. So this will be a very dynamic process uh, and I'm absolutely certain that this will further strengthen these guidance statements. I want to finish uh, by thanking everyone who has been involved uh, in uh, the development of these guidance statements. Um, it was a great collaborative uh, effort and I look forward to work uh, with everyone uh, in the years to come uh, to, make this, to make these guidance statements in a true guideline for transanal TME. Thank you very much.